it is very important to understand that all the network designers are seeking questions to various answers. In this module, we shall explore some of the biggest answers that the network engineers always pose. Then we'd see how Little's theorem, also known as Little's law, attempts to answer these questions. We'll have a commentary on that, followed by some intuitive examples. The references that I've chosen are, again, the classical book of Dimitri, Bertsikas, and Gallagher, and a paper written by Professor John Little in 1961 titled, A Proof for the Queuing Formula L is Equal to Lambda W. This particular paper forms the basis of modern telecommunication industry. One of the biggest questions which a network designer asks is, what is the average number of customers in the system? The average or the typical number of packets in a telecommunication network can be put analogous to these customers, which are either waiting in the queue of an intermediate device or the end host, either waiting to be processed or to be passed on to the upper layer, or are already undergoing a service. So the first question about the number of customers is always of direct interest to the network designers. The second question is equally important. It is, what is the average delay which a customer is going to experience? This certainly would have a relationship with the number of customers as well. Again, the average or the typical time a packet spends waiting in a queue, the, that is the queuing time plus the service time, both of these contribute to the time a customer or a packet spends in a system. As a simple mathematical expression, n is equal to lambda times t, it is the Little's theorem or the Little's law. Here, n refers to the number of customers. Lambda is the arrival rate or the speed at which the customers or the packets are arriving to the system under consideration. And t is the time spent by the customers or the packets in the system. With this simple formula as the basis of the Little's law, it looks intuitive that we'll have an easy way to look for the answer to the two questions asked previously. The Little's theorem is a very powerful conclusion. It addresses crowded systems and attempts to answer the two questions asked. Naturally, if we look at more intuitive way of answering it, a large number of customers into a system would have longer delays and vice versa. This is a pretty intuitive result. But Little's law or Little's theorem is again very powerful in the sense that it does not establish a relationship or relieves any system of the influence by the arrival process distribution. That is, what kind of distribution the arrival rate follows, the service distribution, that is, what kind of behavior is the system going to have in terms of servicing the arriving packets or customers, and the service order. The service order implies the kind of priority and schedule of the packets. For example, are the packets being serviced first come, first serve, or any other scheduling discipline is being implemented? So all of these are pretty advanced topics and they would have an effect on the overall network performance. But Little's Law says things in a very simple way by establishing a relationship only with the number of customers and the time that each customer spends in the system. 